Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Financial institutions like banks, NBFCs, insurance companies, etc. form the backbone of an economy. A lot of processes and systems are in place to make sure that these institutions function smoothly. A small error and it could have huge consequences. To avoid these things from happening and to make sure that they perform efficiently and all of their operations are streamlined, internal auditors who specialize in the financial domain are appointed. This is a field where a lot of chartered accountants are thriving today and it could be a great career opportunity for CA freshers and articles who want to explore the world of finance from an auditor's perspective. So today, I would like to welcome CA Hiren Chang, who has been working for Suresh Surana and Associates, which is an affiliate of RSN, one of the world's largest professional services network. Hi Hiren, welcome to HJ Invests. How does it feel to have cleared CA final and become a chartered accountant? Hello Harsh, the feeling is really great. Uh, I still remember the moment when the results were declared and it gives me goosebumps. The amount of respect and the praise which we as a chartered accountants get from the society is really different. I have been with you throughout this journey and I know how dedicated you were. So I'm really happy yes. for your success. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much. So coming to the topic of this interview, three years back when you were looking for firms to join, what were your expectations? What made you choose internal audit of financial institutions? Actually, uh, I was always keen to know about the processes, about how the bank manages a huge volume of cash. How do they comply with the various regulatory requirements? So uh, I decided in order to get an understanding and the best way to get an understanding of these, of these processes to engage myself into the internal audit of these banks and financial institutions. Okay, so can you share with us what kind of work assignments did you handle and can you guide us what exactly can an article or an employee learn by joining this field? Yeah, so I have handled audit of various private sector banks, NBFCs, investment funds, etc. I will discuss about uh, the nature of the work which I did at some of my interesting assignments with you. So firstly, I would like to talk to you about the private sector bank which is engaged in the corporate lending. So one of the things which we were responsible there, we were looking after the import financing function of the bank. So uh, the key risk area when it comes to import is the foreign exchange flows, which are governed by the Foreign Exchange Management Act and RBI regulations, of course. So we made sure uh, that the systems of the banks are effective enough to ensure the compliance with these stringent regulations. Another issue with such complex uh, transactions is that the banks at times fail to recover the necessary charges and uh, end up losing revenue. So we as an auditors help them to design systems in such a way that they uh, it helps them to uh, prevent the revenue leakage. We as an auditor also provided recommendations to management to improve their operating system uh, effectiveness overall. Also, Harsh, I've also been a part of the team that have audited one of the India's largest banks. Uh, over there, our focus area was basically uh, cash verifications. As you know that cash is a more risky asset and how easy it, it is to manipulate the records. Uh, RBI has uh, strict thresholds, that is upper limits on the usage of cash. So our job was to check whether the bank has safeguards to ensure that the cash is not getting embezzled and the RBI requirements are getting complied with. Uh, during this process, we have also made uh, various surprise visits to various uh, branches of the banks and check uh, whether the cash in hand is getting reconciled with the cash general ledger of the bank. Also, I would not, uh, also I would like to mention about, uh, we have audited an alternate investment fund and a portfolio management scheme for one of the financial institution. The risk area is there that a lot of foreign investors uh, are allowed to invest in India through with the help of these funds. And also there is a higher chance of money laundering. To prevent this, SEBI has in turn put uh, put in place strict regulations with regards to KYC and other onboarding of uh, and onboarding guidelines to ensure that the source of funds which uh, with the bank with the client is receiving is legitimate. So our job was there was to check the processes whether uh, they are in compliant and provide recommendations as any breach could uh, attract huge penalties there. So from uh, I so from whatever you spoke right now, 
uh, it feels like although these organizations are huge there are very small areas that require a lot of attention like the cash mm-hmm. or just import financing so so much of effort goes into smaller portions of what the bank banking functions are or yeah, for exactly. an investment fund etc so that that looks quite interesting for someone who wants to explore this field so uh, now comes a question that a lot of people uh, would want to know the answer to and that is how is the work pressure in this field and you did your article ship in this field as well so how did you manage your studies along with it uh, actually the work pressure that's a good question it depends upon the nature of the assignment which we are getting engaged with there were assignments wherein the work pressure was immense uh wherein we were supposed to sit from morning 9 till 12 in the night and there were assignments wherein uh, the work pressure was quite moderate so what uh, how did i enjoy my studies uh, during this period is i prepared a daily plan for myself uh, i since i am a morning person i used uh, usually used to pick up all the theory subjects in the morning i used to book a 3 3 hour slot for myself and i used to go through all my theory stuff in the morning itself and after coming to and after coming from the office in the night i used to do the practical part and also there were times that i was not able to achieve my daily targets so what i used to do is i used to ensure that even though uh, the backlog which is getting created because of uh, non achieving the daily target i used to ensure that the backlog is getting uh, cleared it at the end of the week so i used to stretch it uh, at the week uh, on sundays and saturdays and to ensure that everything is getting covered up so there is work pressure depending on the nature of assignment and you need discipline for that because uh, mm. you might end up having a huge backlog if you are not disciplined enough and not studying on weekends yes so, exactly uh, thanks irain this video would be quite useful for a lot of ca aspirants and ca freshers who are explore who are trying to explore this field so do you have any message for them yes a uh, small message from my side would be i would recommend them to opt for this field uh, uh, provided that uh, the c aspirant is ready to adapt with the new regulations and circulars which uh, the regulators come up with because there's a lot of reading which is involved and uh, you have to be updated with these regulations because that because these are the basis upon which we as an individual are going to audit these entities so uh, if 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 one has an interest in this field then definitely he can go ahead with it so is is any specific knowledge about laws is required or is it something that you all continuously learn about like could you explain it that? it yeah so uh, it depends upon the nature of the assignment which we are handling for example if we are handling import at a particular bank then we are supposed to go through the master directions and master circulars which are issued by the rbi so depending upon the nature of the assignment we have to uh, learn and get an understanding of that particular law okay all right so a lot of reading would be required yes yes definitely yeah so thanks a lot heren for your time uh, this was really interesting and i hope that it would give a give clarity about this field to a lot of people Uh, in case you all have any doubts or you want to ask anything to hiren you could mention it in the comment section or you could you can send a mail to me i will uh, forward all the queries to hiren and try to solve all of them uh, so yeah again thanks a lot hiren for joining this was a really insightful discussion if you all like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to hj invests for more such interesting conversations thank you